So this is lesson 611, polyhedrons in grade 3 everyday math, a parent help video. Uh, in this lesson we have a lot of vocabulary, a lot of vocabulary to go over. So th we're just going to get started on it. Um, the first vocab word is polyhedron. Okay, And a polyhedron is a solid whose surfaces are flat and formed by polygons. So it's basically a 3D shape. Okay, it's a 3D shape with flat surfaces. Okay, it's a 3D shape with flat surfaces. So for example, this would be a polyhedron because the surfaces are all flat. Okay, it's a 3D shape and all of the sides here are formed by polygons. And we said a polygon is a shape in a previous lesson. So this is an example of a polyhedron right here. Okay, a 3D shape with flat surfaces. And if we want to look at something that is not a polyhedron, this the sphere would be an example of not a polyhedron. Because the surfaces are not flat, you can see that they're round. Okay? Um, the next thing that, we wanna, that I want to demonstrate for you is a pyramid. Okay, and the next vocabulary word is pyramid. And here are some examples of pyramids. If you take a look right here, these are all examples of pyramids. There's a triangular pyramid, a rectangular pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid, and it has to do with the shape of the base, how the pyramid is named. Okay, so if we look at this polygon that I have here, it's actually a pyramid, and we can see the base, the bottom part, is a rectangle. So this would be called a rectangular pyramid. Okay, a rectangular pyramid. Oops. Um, the next word, the next one that I want to share with you is um, prism. So the word prism, and we have a triangular prism and a rectangular prism. So triangular prism and rectangular prism. <coughs> And for a triangular prism and a rectangular prism, here are some examples. And this is the reference book for grade 3 everyday math, page 115. Um, you can see basically a triangular prism has, is, is in the shape of a triangle. It's a 3D shape in the shape of a triangle. And a rectangular prism is a 3D shape um, where the sides are rectangles. Okay. And there's a hexagonal prism too over here. So just some examples for you of prisms. Okay, and here's an example of a triangular prism. And here's a rectangular prism for you to kind of get get an idea of. Um, the next vocabulary word that we're going to be looking at, and we're actually just going to go on to another piece of paper here, is a cone. Um, here's an example of a cone here. This one's upside down, but it's still a cone. Um, it has a circular bottom and then um, a round shape that comes together at a point. That's a cone. And then the next word that we're going to talk about is cylinder. And a cylinder is round on the bottom, but it's equal, it's even all the way through. So round on the bottom, round on the top, so around there. And then it goes around and meets at that area. So you can see it's equal the whole way, the whole way through. And the next shape, the next one that we're going to talk about is a sphere. And a sphere, this is a sphere here like the sphere is a shape of a ball okay it's just round everywhere there's no sides no bases no corners no edges it's just all around and it's even so it's not like small in one part and big in another it's going to be even and it might even roll away okay the next um, vocabulary word that we're going to talk about is three-dimensional 
So three dimensional. And three dimensional is basically where it you hear 3D. It kind of pops out at you. It's it's something that you can pick up and play with and use. And then in as opposed to two dimensional, which is something that's flat on the paper. Okay, we can't pick up something that's two dimensional, but we could pick up something that's three dimensional. Okay, and sometimes we can draw shapes. For example, in the reference book, so they kind of pop out at us. This, this is a three-dimensional effect. This is 3D effect here. Whereas this picture, which is just flat, would just be kind of, it looks two-dimensional. If the picture kind of popped out at us as some 3D effects, then it would be three-dimensional. Um, the book itself would be, would be three-dimensional because we can pick it up. Um, but anything flat on the paper that I'm drawing, that's all two-dimensional. Um, then we have a couple of words that are specific to um, certain shapes. So, for example, um, we're going to look at the word apex. That's actually specific to the word to a cone, okay, in, in um, this case. And the apex of a cone is the, is the tip. So here's my cone. Okay, here's my cone right here. Um, see, a cone has a circular bottom and it goes around and comes together at a point. It's this point here that's called the apex. So you can kind of point that at the apex of the cone. Um, then we have the vocabulary word parallel, and I'm actually going to go back to our first paper that we used here for the word parallel. We've talked about parallel before in terms of parallel lines. Okay, You probably remember talking about parallel lines. And parallel is Two lines, for example, these two lines, one here and one here, that would just keep going in the same direction and they never ever touch and they never ever cross. That's parallel. All right. And then we've taught uh, the other vocabulary word we have is face. Okay, and the faces of of a of a shape or polyhedron, the faces are the flat surfaces on the outside. Okay, basically the ones that would be the, um, uh, the sides, the shapes that are on the outside here. Those are the faces, and then we have the base. Okay, the base of a polyhedron is what it sits on. Okay, this would be a base here. So this would have rectangular faces and a square base. And then one more word, so you can see we had quite an extensive word list today, is vertices. Okay, we talked about vertices and vertex a little bit when we talked about angles. All right, that's basically the corner. Corners are the vertices. One corner is a vertex. It's just another way to say corner, basically. One corner is a vertex. Four corners are vertices. All right, so all of these different three-dimensional shapes, all of these different polyhedrons have many different words that we use with them. Okay, and I'd encourage you to watch this video a few times to review what the different polyhedrons look like, okay, and the different parts of the different polyhedrons. Um, we're going to want kids during this lesson to be able to identify um, the parallel faces on prisms, so we want kids to know that well, these faces are parallel to each other here. This face is parallel to this face because they would just keep going this way. Not parallel to this face. I'm oh, sorry, you couldn't see. This face is parallel to this face over here. All right, on opposite sides. Those ones are parallel. They're just going to keep going. They're not going to meet because if they met, you would end up with a point. Okay, you would end up with some point. Um, but these ones don't meet. Unlike the pyramid, if you have a pyramid, these can't be parallel because they're meeting. These faces are meeting. It ends up with a point on the top. All right, but these faces are parallel because they just keep going straight. Um, and that's what we want. We want kids to know that. We also want kids to be able to tell us the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. So if I ask, if you ask your child, show me a two-dimensional shape, they could draw a square just like this. Oops, except you can't see that. If I said a two-dimensional shape, they might draw a square or maybe a circle. That's two-dimensional because it's just on the paper. If 
he said, okay, show me an example of a three-dimensional shape. Maybe they come over with a book, okay? Or maybe they come over with, um, with uh, something else that's three-dimensional, for example. All right, a block or some toy. Those would be three-dimensional. And we want kids to know the difference between the two. We want kids to be able to tell us where are the faces on a polyhedron. Where are the faces on a three-dimensional shape? All right, we want them to know the difference between the faces, which are around it, and the base, which it sits on. Um, and we want them to be able to be able to identify, so tell us what the 3D shapes are, and be able to tell us the differences and similarities among the 3D shapes, so to compare and contrast them. Um, and those are the things we want kids to do. How you can help at home, please use these vocabulary words with them. Have your kids use these vocabulary words. You might try say, to say, show me an example of. Okay, and the kids can do the same thing. Have them quiz you. Okay, have the kids ask you. Show me, mom, show, or dad, or grammy, grampy, show me an example of a sphere in our kitchen. Okay, and you could find it. You could kind of make a game out of it. Um, things like that. But basically, you just got to use the vocabulary words and talk about it in your daily lives. You know, what is it that you're driving down the road? Do you see anything? that look um, like these shapes, you're in the kitchen. You see anything that looks like this in the house? What have you got that might look like this? Do a scavenger hunt for these things. Okay, there's lots of fun you can have with um, shapes and 3D shapes. And um, just, it's, it's a lot to kind of wrap your mind around at first because it's so many different characteristics. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. And so hopefully you can enjoy it and have some fun with it. So this is lesson 611, uh, polyhedrons of grade three everyday math.